Good morning out there, guys and gals of YouTube land. This came in uh, right before Thanksgiving, before we started our long weekend. And I did not get a chance to show it. This is a Ford Ranchero. And also, before I go very further into this, uh, I changed the video camera quality settings. We bumped it up almost as high as I can get it. So we'll see if this records in HD or if the quality is any more noticeable from the last video where we drove the Fox Body Mustang. So let me know in the comments if this video turns out better. Anyway, this is a Ford Ranchero. If I had to guess the year, I'm sure it's somewhere along the late 60s, uh, into the early 70s. It looks very similar to the Falcon that we had, and that's why I'm assuming it's late 60s. But if these are anything built like the Mustangs, then these towers rust. As you can see, this one is super solid. Check out the frame rail down here. The lack of rust on it is it's phenomenal. This thing is super solid. We've got some going on. I don't know if you can see it right there. But it, it's seriously nothing to be concerned about. Down here, we've got a few little holes starting. And as you can clearly see, there's no floor pan. You'd have to put you a new pan in it. I'm sure that was the most rusty thing, and someone cut it all out. But you could easily get you a new floor pan and put in it. Transmission tunnel, it's like it's been cut and patched on over the years. It could have been swapped to a stick or something. Or swapped from a stick, I guess. Radio, the dash had been cut out for a radio. <clears throat> but this is this is still a super super solid car guys excellent candidate the inside of the bed it's not all beat up or dinged up typical surface rust a few spots here and there but it's it's really solid no one was beaten on this truck Body lines are straight. And over here we have all the parts. The guy brought back all the parts. We've got the front bumper. There's some holes in it. You can tell it was painted. We've got the, I'm sorry, that's the rear bumper. There's your front bumper. We've got hood hinges. Oh, there's a date. 64 Ranchero. So I guess this is a 64, but you've already corrected me in the comments, I'm sure. There's the hood for it that someone has stripped down, probably for paint. Now it's got surface rust starting. And the doors have all the glass in them. I don't know if you can see. So we've got the hood, both the bumpers, both the doors. Mirrors are on the doors, and we've got hood hinges. So really, wiring harness, engine, transmission, rear end, brake lines, wires, cables, all that good stuff, tail lights, floor pans, seats, carpet, door panels, and about $25,000 and a hope and a prayer you could have you a, a Ranchero. Now, if someone wanted it, it'd be a pretty cheap car. You don't see this every day. I mean, I understand that it's it's rough around the edges, but it's it's such a clean body and everything. I couldn't believe they just sold it for scrap. And all the all the all that had to be worth something. The hoods and the doors and everything. 
I mean, you bring something like this to us and you scrap it to us, you don't get but 150 to 200 bucks. A door has to be worth that alone with good intact glass. But... Well. Figured I'd just do a quickie little video for you. 1964 Ford Ranchero. So guys, what motor do you think it had? Six cylinder V8, manual trans, automatic trans. Hmm. I'm sure it was pretty sharp back in its day. Alrighty guys. I'm gonna jump off here. Thank you so much for watching. Anybody looking for a ranchero? It's a great frame, great project. Had a bunch of parts. And for the right price, there's that 289 that you saw in the video where we were working on the GT Mustang. <laughs> He'll make you a package deal on the whole program. Alrighty guys. Going back to work. Thanks for watching.